Banco Gambit fully accepted, 5, G66.NC3. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The d4 pawn is quickly attacked by the Benoni defense, which also creates spaces for the black queen to grow. d5 grabs more space in the center and prevents black from trading the c-pawn for the white center pawn. The Banco Gambit aims to weaken the d5 pawn and open lines on the queen side in exchange for losing one of black's queen side pawns. Cxb5 captures the b5 pawn, but slightly lessens white's control over the d5 pawn. A6 offers the Gambit pawn, if white accepts, then black will have a lead in development and open lines on the queen side as compensation. Ga6 captures the Gambit pawn, white plans to develop with nc3 and e4. The dark squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. Nc3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d5 pawn and prepares the e4 pawn push. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is quite good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is the final book action. This allows the opponent to unpin a knight allowing it to provide defense. It is a mistake. This frees a pinned knight, allowing it to provide defense. This is the only move that works. This threatens to win material. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. That is good. Very precise. It is best. This overlooks a better way to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. By doing this, a chance to advance a defeated piece is missed. It is incorrect. This overlooks a safer approach to moving a queen. It is incorrect. This defends the knight who was attacked. It is quite good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. This reveals an attack that poses a threat to a queen. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. This reveals an attack on a bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. From a prior move, recaptures. It is ideal. This defends the pawn that was attacked. That's good. So, the attacked pawn is protected. It is quite good. This strikes the rival queen. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. That is good. This threatens to win a queen. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to win material. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is a miss. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. 
This misses an opportunity to reveal an attack on a knight. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is a mistake. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This provides a free rook. It is a mistake. The rook was a freebie. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This comes in several sections. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. This is how you attract a knight. It is quite good. This moves away from the queen of checking. It's compelled. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is ideal. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It is quite good. That knight was a free one. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. A pawn kicks the opposing rook, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This seizes a helpless pawn. It is quite good. Recaptures. White is ahead at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 